Beth Harmon is a fictional character from the series The Queen's Gambit. She's confident, ambitious, and observant. She's always trying to improve in chess and is extremely independent and logic driven. Throughout the series, we can see she is determined to play in the Soviet Union and removes any obstacle along the way. She is blunt and focuses more on the truth than on other people's feelings. When people fail to understand her logic, she becomes critical of them. Introverted Intuition NI is subjective, focused, and precise, being used primarily to find a specific personal solution for the user, using all the data available to it. Her NI has her in a laser like focused trance, where she envisions herself to be the grandmaster of chess. Her whole outlook of life is literally chess. Beth likes to focus on completely controllable goals, like chess itself, a completely controllable 64 square universe. She can predict the future based on her intuition and gets caught up in her abstract and metaphorical ideas. Here are some examples for her dominant NI. She relies on her instincts to form strategies, which is why she visualized the board. She has shown to be extremely capable of planning ahead, like when she decides to start taking Russian classes, despite the opportunity of playing in Russia being very far away. She is constantly focused on the bigger picture of her chess career. She remarks multiple times in the series that she plans on being the worldwide champion even before being in the level of the Russians. She has a very vivid inner world, as showcased by her visualization of the board, and in the third episode, when she describes the chessboard as a world that she can control and predict. It's an entire world of just 64 squares. I feel safe. NI users interpret what they observe into impressions, meaning, or patterns. She regularly shows NI traits and doesn't operate in the moment like most people might think at first glance. Extroverted thinking. TE users trust a system that can produce physical and observable results. That's also why TE users are known for being goal-oriented and results-oriented. TE is a tool that supports her NI, and she wants to see results to prove the logic. Beth prefers to be direct with people and never gives up on what she wants. She practices consistently while attending tournaments. In episode 7, she mentions consistently practicing 8 hours a day. She also prides herself on being able to spot discrepancies in her opponent's strategy and even in her own. He took the piece, just as I planned. Her way of thinking is linear and organized. If something aligns with her vision, she goes for it. If not, she finds a way to work around it. When confronted with a challenge, she sees it as an opportunity to innovate. Beth's TE function comes from her being objective, pragmatic, and deductive in her actions. She always asks people the rules of a game, and she exposes her thoughts to the external world. She constantly revisits her games with opponents in her mind to continuously improve herself. She feels safe when playing chess because the rules are well known and clear, so she can dominate and know what to expect. I can control it, I can dominate it, and it's predictable. So if I get hurt, I only have myself to blame. Introverted Feeling Introverted feelers focus on how the external world, people, or situations make them feel personally. Based on these feelings, they develop their own internal value system of what they have deemed to be good or bad. Beth's FI is her having secret and intense feelings and doing whatever it takes to achieve her moral and personal goals. She's not always thinking about how others are feeling and is not concerned about what others think of her but she has a strong sense of right or wrong and always surprises people with her unique behavior. What we would really like from you, Elizabeth, would be some kind of statement. Statement? Christian Crusade would like you to make your position public. Look, I have no intention of saying anything like this. Why not? Because it's fucking nonsense. Another example is the way she judges her adoptive father. Alma was not pathetic. She was stuck. There's a difference. She didn't know how to get out of it. Pathetic? Well, I'm looking at pathetic. She refused the Christian church's money because she did not trust them, and she'd rather go to great lengths to make money on her own than be corrupted. She also appeared to dislike the whole American procedure after her victory, so she ended up purposefully missing the flight because playing chess with those old men in the park meant more to her. In the end, she was happy following her ideals. 
extroverted sensing. SE users desire to experience life with all of their senses. They want to taste, feel, smell, hear, and see new things. Her inferior function comes from her completely losing control of her life and leaving everything for drugs and alcohol. She wants to dance and go to restaurants, but she always ends up feeling guilty because she knows she should be preparing for the next game or simply resting because that pays off in the long term. In the end, under huge stress, all of the pressure and emotional instability surfaces through the means of SE. She smokes and drinks until she passes out drunk and abuses the green tranquilizers even more. A well-described SE grip. This is an objective and impersonal function, as all extroverted functions are, meaning SE users are not concerned with absorbing and remembering every little painful detail like SI users are. Beth has a strong work ethic. Even since she was a kid, she focused on only one goal, chess. Though she may have gotten a little lost along the way, she eventually recognized that she should start playing games for real and not just choosing them for the reward money. She doesn't want to learn chess from the inside out, like a TI user would. She says she only studies the games she loses retrospectively for her weaknesses. The point is to figure out what she did wrong and avoid it the next time. She also shows her sense of good sportsmanship, and she always tries to shake hands after a match, though her temper can also cause her to storm out. She can be blunt and straightforward, and this is seen when she simply gets up and leaves a group if she isn't interested in its conversation, but she is private with her feelings. She sometimes even underestimates her feelings. Consider the time when she makes it through a funeral without crying, but then bursts into tears in the car after seeing a photo of herself and the deceased. As a child, Beth had intuitive knowledge of a very cerebral game and quickly figured out components of it without even being told what they were. She flickers between acting in the moment and long-term planning. On the one hand, she'll criticize herself for not seeing what someone else's endgame is, since she is too focused on her own narrow intentions. On the other hand, she also thinks far ahead in her life. She chose to take Russian classes as a child, so she could speak the language of her eventual world championship opponents. She is not without flaws. A major one is that she assumes she knows a lot, so she does not study as much as she should, nor does she pay attention to the details of her opponent's previous games in order to learn their tricks. This is a typical case of NI's ability to read between the lines, but then assume that's all the studying they need to do to master it, which leads to flaws in their understanding. Another flaw is that she has an impulsive inferior SE, prone to overindulgence of drugs and alcohol. She was able to purchase her family home on a whim and then blow most of her bank account on it, realizing only later that she doesn't have enough money to cover her expenses of going to Russia. Rather than studying the night before an important match, she foolishly decides to get drunk and mess around with guys at the bar downstairs after a friend invites her. She's an intuitive player and doesn't study per se or memorize every single step. Or rather, she focuses on predicting how her rival will counterattack. Combining her TE and NI, she follows a single way of playing, based on what she does believe is the most efficient and useful way. She's strict when it comes to chess. She starts to drink alcohol and take pills in order to gain a complete state of mind, but we can clearly see that it's not because she's seeking new experiences, as a high SE user would do but rather because she believes she needs to do so in order to play correctly. Under extreme stress, she overindulges on desires and impulses. She demonstrates very impressive NITE usage, starting from the first episode, demonstrated by her clear vision and obsession. Without a doubt, Beth is a great INTJ character, one of the most, if not the most, INTJ-like fictional female characters that viewers can witness through a TV show. Thank you for watching. Do you agree with our breakdown? If you enjoy our content and want to see more, please leave a comment and subscribe to our channel.